Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and today we're gonna look at another magic trick. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for being here. I hope you're ready to take another look inside a magic trick. That's what I do, I open them up, do an unboxing, give you kind of everything you need to know, the good, the bad. I want you to spend your money wisely so that you can separate the good from the bad. Today, we're gonna look at Supa Chupa Scoopa from Steve Rowe and Big Blind Media. All right, so what is Supa Chupa Scoopa? Every time I hear that title, I think of ABBA. I think of Super Trooper, right? right? Like, Super Trooper, life is gonna find you, life uh-uh, uh-uh. I should not be singing it in any capacity. What is this trick? What is Supa Chupa Scoopa? Uh, it is a trick with a lollipop. It's a trick with a lollipop. There is a lollipop involved. You hand it to the spectator, it becomes their magic wand. Uh, they select the card. They select the card. And the card is then lost back into the deck. You then show an indifferent card, a card that's not theirs. And you have them strike the card with the lollipop and it turns into their card. Pretty cool. There's a kicker. You then have them strike the card again, and as they strike it, the logo or the decal from the lollipop strikes off, it transfers, it changes places, and then the logo from the lollipop is now permanently printed on the card, and the card pip is now stuck to the lollipop wrapper. So you got a kicker, and a transpo, and a card reveal, let's talk about this trick. All right, my format is simple. I always ask the same questions for every trick, and the first one is, what do you get? What's inside the box? Uh, it's not a box, it's a plastic baggy uh, wrapper thing with a cardboard sleeve. Cardboard sleeve gives you the download code so that you have access to the video. The video is roughly 16 minutes long. You're then gonna get the decals that you need for the lollipops, and you'll get the gaff card you need for the reveal. You will need to supply your own deck. You will need to supply your own lollipops. Now, what lollipops do you need? You need the chuppa chup lollipops that are out there in the world. Uh, I Before this, I had never heard of chuppa chup, chupa chup, chup chup chup, chup 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 chup. Again, with the singing, let's not let's not do that. Um, chuppa chup, chuppa chup, just. Just Google it or just type it into Amazon. You can get a bag of these lollipops on Amazon, huge bag for 20 bucks. So if you want to do this as a giveaway, you can get a huge bag of lollipops, uh, like I said, for 20 bucks on Amazon. If you can't find them at your local grocery or your local handy shop. All right, the angles on this effect, um, Steve covers it all. I mean, I, just listening to the, the trick and how it goes, as I told you, I mean, I think you kind of get a sense of what your angles would be. I guess you could flash if you were fast and sloppy, but Steve's gonna give you all the directions so that you don't. Can it be inspected at the end? I don't know what you'd inspect. It is a printed on gaff card, so the card is gonna look like what it is. The lollipop, I mean, it's a decal on top of a lollipop wrapper. It's not printed on, okay, it's not printed on. I suppose you could give the lollipop out as a souvenir, so long as you removed the wrapper first yourself. Uh, I wouldn't want to give too many of them away because you don't have that many decals. And once your decals are gone, you can't do the trick anymore. So I would remove the wrapper in front of them so they can see it's all clean and on the up and up. And you hand that out as your, you know, souvenirs, like have a lollipop. And I would save my wrapper and then rewrap my wrapper onto the next lollipop. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Hey, it's Big Blind Media, so we are filming in the Red Room once again. Steve performs for a in-studio uh, spectator, and then Lee Montier joins him later for the explanations. And they have a good old time. They laugh and joke and uh, play around. It's a fun 16 minutes to watch. As far as what they're going to teach you, they'll go over the studio performance, they'll talk about what's in the box, how to apply your decal to the lollipop, how to decorate your lollipop stick so that it looks like a magic wand. Ooh. Then, of course, they'll go over the deck stack, they'll cover a simple force, and some last-minute ideas. Is it well-made? It is a bicycle card. It's printed by Bicycle. 
United States playing card company. The decals are fine, sure. But like I said, you're gonna need your own deck and you're gonna need your own lollipops. How much practice does it require? I think you're gonna need to know how to force a card. The better you can force a card, the better this trick will look. And you'll have to learn how to do a DL. How much setup and reset is there? Super minimal. Like I said, you're only forcing a single card, okay? And so you're just putting the card in the location that you need it to force for. And then you need a lollipop in your pocket and you're good to go. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Supa Chupa Scoopa is both fun and playful. It is gonna be a delight to the eye and to those with a sweet tooth. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? I don't know that there's any negatives to this effect because it is what it is. I mean, it's a, a lot of it's card trick and then it's just one gaff. Uh, I, I would say the only thing that you should be aware of is that it is simple, right? It's a simple trick. It is a simple trick. There's not gonna be any more big revelations or any more like poof, brain fries after you purchase it. When you buy it, it's gonna be exactly what I just said. So don't expect more surprises or more bells and whistles than what we've just talked about. Um, so, it, it, so it is simple. So that just means knowing your character and knowing your audience. Is it worth your money? It's 20 bucks, it's $20. I don't know that tricks get much cheaper than that nowadays. I mean, it's kind of hard to find a trick it's under the $20 price tag, especially when it comes with a, you know, a printed gaff. So I think this is around the ballpark of what you expect to pay for a single trick. As far as who would like this, like I said, please know your character, know your audience. Are you a kid's magician? Are you a clown? Are you a comedy magician? Is it seem natural that you would use a lollipop in your routines, right? If you're like this serious mentalist, that hypnotizes people and is able to PK touch people on stage, I don't know that you're gonna just transfer from that persona to being happy-go-lucky fun guy with a lollipop, right? So it just means knowing your audience. I think this is a great trick for a younger audience because it plays well with candy, obviously. And I think candy right now plays great with Halloween, so this could be a great Halloween effect. But like I said, it's definitely a simple trick, definitely a light-hearted fun trick. And so if that's you, I think you'll definitely get a kick out of this. All right. So that's everything I can say about Scoopa Chupa Scoopa from Steve Rowe. I want to thank Steve and Big Blind Media for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at bigblindmedia.com. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks, magic channel card tricks, is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside and I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even going to give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back magic channel card tricks and i will teach you how to use that trick as well or maybe you're not a beginner maybe you're not a beginner but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is that you could share this channel with them this is a great safe place kid friendly where they can learn beginning level magic make sure you head on over to magic channel card tricks give my videos a like subscribe to that channel thanks for watching guys thanks for being a part of magic orthodoxy